In this session, I will show you how to make an alarm zone. So to add an alarm zone, we have to go to my home. And in the sub menu, we can go to alarms here. Press add alarm zone and uh, then select all of your devices that you would like to add to your alarm zone. I only have two different devices that can actually be incorporated into an alarm zone. But in a bigger house, uh, you might have different types of devices. Uh, but let me just make one alarm zone here. I will include my Chili Blue motion sensor and I will include my Chili Blue door window sensor in the alarm zone. So if somebody is opening my door or window, the alarm zone will uh, go off. And if somebody is uh, walking around inside our house when we are not at home or when the uh, alarm is armed, then I will get the notification about that as well. Press next. Here you can select the active time zone. This is not this time where the alarm would automatically be added, but this is the time zone where you are able to arm and disarm your alarm zone. So let's just keep it like it is 24 hours a day because then we can arm and, alarm and disarm the alarm zone uh, at the moment of time that you want to. So now you have to change uh, the message that you want to receive when the alarm zone is triggered uh, while the alarm is armed. So um, I will change this from my scenes trigger to uh, somebody is in your house. What you can do is that you can enable a pin lock. I will not uh, use a pin lock in my automations. Um, I'll just keep it as it is and press the next button here. Here you can add a delay when arming the alarm. You can add a delay in seconds and you can add it in many minutes. Uh, this is good if you uh, have a button inside your house that you're pressing or if you have a keypad when you are uh, at entering the code inside your house. Or if you have a button that you press and hold to turn off all of your lights and to arm your alarm before leaving the house, then it might, might be a good idea to have a delay in the arming so it will not trigger the alarm while you're inside your house. You can also have a delay when alarming, so when you're coming home, opening the door, uh, you can have a delay so you can actually come inside your house and switch off the alarm. Uh, but in this case, I'll just keep it as it is. Press next and you can give it a name. So you can call it Alarm Zone Living Room. Select the picture. Uh, let's pick a red one for this one. Press save. So now we have our Alarm Zone Living Room. It's already armed. I will disarm it. So the way you arm and disarm your alarm zone is simply by pressing uh, the, the shield here. And when there's a blue ring around, it's armed. When there's no blue ring around, it's uh, disarmed. If you have multiple alarm zones, then you can also arm and disarm all of them at the same time uh, from the two icons up here. To add a new alarm zone, you just press the icon and then you can add another alarm zone and you can use the same devices for different types of alarm zones so this is how you add alarm zone uh, i would just quickly add it to my dashboard as well because uh, then it's much faster much easier just to arm your alarm so press the plus icon uh, press the alarms press next and then select your alarm zone that you would like to add to your uh, dashboard so this is how it looks like. One last thing I forgot to mention, if you press your alarm zone here, uh, you can go and you can see the status of all of your sensors inside your alarm zone. So you can see that there's no motion detected from my motion sensor and the blue door window sensor is closed. If I'm going to open my uh, blue motion sensor, it should change the state and you can see uh, it just changed the state to open now. And I should also be able to trick my motion sensor. Yeah, like that. So that was everything for this session. We have now added our alarm zone. We have added the alarm zone to our dashboard and we are ready to continue with the training.